welcome to another edition of Wealth Without Borders podcast. And today I'm delighted to have with me Una. Una, how are you doing today? I'm pretty good. Thank you for having me here. That's my pleasure. And whereabouts are you in the world and what's the weather like? I'm in Shanghai right now and the weather is getting really chill and a little bit gray outside. But we can slowly to see the change through trees, which is pretty lovely. Yeah, autumn is coming, so it is a lovely time of year. So yeah. for those of you who don't know Una Chu, Una's a portrait photographer who focuses on business portraits, and she specializes in relaxing people so their true personality can come shining through. And the podcast title is Making Business People Look Like Superstars. So I'm very much uh, in favor of Una because my podcast photograph is taken by Una so I have a you know I have to declare a bias here in being a massive supporter of Una. Uh, <laughs> it's my so, pleasure to have you. <laughs> so we've just got eight questions in eight minutes. I, I do have a stop clock Una I'll try to help you by telling you how long is left. So are you ready to go? Yes let's do it. Fantastic so eight minutes to go question one. Who is your ideal client? I am helping corporations and business people to use the right image that could actually enhance the visual communications in the virtual world. Fantastic. Seven minutes, 45 remaining. Question number two, what's the problem that you solve? Um, you know, nowadays we make most of our communications online and with the social media platform continue growth, our presence and professionalism is communicated actually starting with that profile photos, which simple create the first impression. And for business owners, the media we post represent the brand and those images are the centerpiece of their online assets. And I believe that a proper headshot delivery the branding and the messaging before anyone actually experienced their service. So in another word, I believe the headshot make us real in the virtual world. Right. I so agree with that. You know, that visual image is so important. Six minutes, 58 remaining. Question number three. What are the typical symptoms people experience who have this problem of getting through on social media? And for a professional profile, such as those we typically see on a social platform like LinkedIn, or they use it on a company website, not by using the right image could actually undermining efforts to sell yourself and your companies to potential clients. Especially sometimes you can see people use their vacation selfies, you know, photos with pets, or simply just crop themselves out from a group photos. The use of the photos profiles has become as usual as actually email addresses and professionals who deal with clients and shareholders in particular need the right photos to help them to establish the very important first impressions on, you know, the, the social medias. Yeah. Okay. So six minutes remaining question four. you've touched on some of the mistakes people make in terms of selfies and you know, cutting themselves out. Are there other common mistakes that people make when they're trying to solve this image problem? You know, I actually really think about it. Then it's all come to my mind is that actually select a right photographer can be really tricky because Shanghai provides a wide range of professional photographers and they are virus with different level price and experience. So by choose a right photographer who can really portray you authentically is important. I, you know, I often have clients come to me and say that the last time they updated their hair shots was like five years ago. So I'm like, well, if you're going to use that photos for that long time, make sure the image quality is qualified and truly speak out who you are and continue to represent you and your brand for the next five years. Right. Good point. Yeah. Actually, Una, we need to make an appointment because it's, I've got less hair now. so probably <laughs> It's all <so> good. <laughs> A little bit shiny there. <laughs> <laughs> so I try and disguise it with the lights, but, you know, there's no disguising. Anyway, four minutes, 50 remaining. I don't want to take up your time. Uh, question number five. What's one valuable free action that people checking out the show today can implement that will help them with some of that problem right now? You know, what we can do is just simply going through the media and the company website to see if those existing photos could represent yourself truly and professionally. 
we all taking our career seriously. And the fact if you're willing to invest a quality professional image shows that you also investing in your education, career and personal development. So I believe that professional headshot gives your prospects an idea of how you will represent them and the care you will take in meeting their needs. Right. Very good point. Four minutes remaining. Question number six. What's one valuable free resource you can direct people to that will further help them with that problem? So I often share some of the tips about uh, how you're going to prepare your headshots and on my LinkedIn. So everyone, if you want to search me, you can easily connect me through there. Mm -hmm. And I recently share some tips about how different um, about the necklines could really affect you on images. Okay, so that's, thinking, yes. that's interesting. I don't know about my neckline. And, uh, well, guys, well, a little bit easier, but yeah, <laughs> girls, it. too much choice. Yeah. And by the way, we will put your LinkedIn profile in the podcast so people can connect with you directly if they wish Thank to. Thank you so much. Three minutes, 15 remaining. Question number seven. What concept or book or program or talk has been most impactful in your experience, Una? Um, so I would like to say that in this year, there are a lot of changes because of this pandemic. And one of the things that come into my mind is that the notion of beauty, what is actually the fundamental of beauty to life? And do we appreciate how beauty is created and how, do, how to be cherished? So through my trips around different corners in the world and working with people I truly admire, making the connections with the authentic human being and create things together is really the experience what I really embrace with. Oh, that, well, that is yeah. a lovely concept. And, you know, as much as you could, you brought out the beauty in me. There's only so much you can do. <laughs> well... <laughs> All right, just uh, two minutes, 20 remaining. So plenty of time. Question number eight. What's the one question you think I should have asked you that would give great value to our audience and what's the answer? So the question in my mind is that uh, what makes me to become a portrait photographer? So the story starts with four years ago, I decided to quit my full-time job and pursuing something I'm really passionate about. Just as any freelancer in the market, I start with photography, everything that I could have in, the, in that time. And my very first week of starting my own hair show business, a gentleman worked in the Disneyland approached me for inquiry. We talk about the shooting ideas, the concept of how he would like to get his hair show done. And we just chit chat a little bit. And he asked me, what do you think you could be different from other photographers in the market? And I was mumbling and I don't even have any idea what to say. And even after a while, there was not much progress either in the business side or the personal growth. His question keep recording in my mind. So I started to uh, revalue what I'm really interested in. And the human emotions are always intriguing to me. I want to freeze the moment of a smile, a laugh, a sense of realness, how you will see this person face to face. So uh, I greatly appreciate that gentleman asked that questions. He truly just pointing out a directions while I was lost. Right. What a great answer. And um, just we have a few seconds left to just want to speak to that personally, that one of the things I love about working with you, Una, is you get me to smile and laugh. I look a bit serious in my photo, I guess. <laughs> so we might do some smiley ones because... Yeah. Uh, you know, being relaxed is very important when you're taking photos and you're, I think, an expert at relaxing people. So well, I, also think, I also think that actually building trust between each other. So like if you have trust to the photographer who is taking photos, that is really important too. Yeah. Like it, it, it's mutual feelings anyway. I'm, I'm very happy that you trust my skills and just have me. I did <laughs> and I do. Okay, well, it's great to have you on the show. You know, you've packed a huge amount of value in there. Get rid of those selfies off your LinkedIn profile, guys. And if you want to reach out to Una, then do so through LinkedIn. Thank you, Una, so much. Thank you so much, Howard. Many thanks for checking out Wealth Without Borders podcast. I'd love you to head over to iTunes, subscribe, and leave us a review. And if you'd be kind enough to do that, I would really appreciate it. And then if you want to know more about what I do, check out wealthwithoutborders.net.